Hey guys, Chris from Tiny Industrial, and this is it. This is the new trailer for the upcoming video tutorial tiny house build. So what I wanted to do is just walk you around this trailer and let you know why I chose this particular trailer over other trailers. There are a lot of trailers out there. This happens to be a utility trailer. Now these are standard off the shelf things that you can buy uh, at, well, trailer stores, I guess. But um, if you look online, you'll probably find someplace that sells these near to where you are. Um, I happen to buy this sort of in uh, yeah, kind of like out west in the northern part of New Jersey. There's a uh, dealer out there. This particular trailer comes from Quality Trailers, which is an Ohio-based company. And um, I've used their trailers before and like them for several reasons. So, I don't know, I guess let's start on this corner here. So, uh, the trailer, as you can see, has a pressure-treated wood decking. This is great because it saves you from adding that layer to the trailer yourself. Uh, so these, these pressure treated, um, I guess these are, what are these? Two by sixes, two by eights, maybe two by eights, uh, are on here already. Um, the trailer apparently has been outside for a little while. doesn't matter. That's what the flooring is going to get built on. Right. And, um, just, just to take a step back literally and figuratively, the trailer itself is a six and a half wide, 10 foot long trailer. So just uh, wanted to make that clear. Now the trailer has the wood decking and it also has this raised edge here. So this uh, is angle iron, so steel, and it is uh, incredibly strong. And I'd never suggest that you remove this in any way because it actually is part of the structure of the trailer itself. Um, Basically the same angle iron all around. They just sort of configure it, make different shapes. This is like sort of a diagonally placed piece here. The reason I love this stuff is it gives you this beautiful flat surface up here that you can mount stuff to. You can mount stuff to from, from the top. You can mount stuff to it from this side. And some of these trailers you'll find have a, um, like a tube top up here. And that's just completely impossible to, uh, to, to attach anything to. So avoid that. Look for the angle iron. This trailer is also made out of steel. You will find trailers that are made out of aluminum. Um, I haven't worked with any of the aluminum trailers. I'm a little bit wary of that material. Obviously it, uh, aluminum is lighter than steel is and you can um, sort of build more on it in terms of uh, weight, but, but um, yeah, go, go with the steel. So um, we've got some, some lights on here. There's another one here. These are conventional. These are not LED lights. Um, got the reflectors, but let's walk around this way. So here we get to the tire. I go with the large, this is a, uh, a 15 inch, I believe. Yes, 15 inch rim. Um, this is a large scale tire for a trailer like this. You will also find trailers, the less expensive ones, have uh, much smaller tires. So smaller rims, smaller tires. Um, those trailers will typically have a lower speed rating in terms of like your ability to take it out on the highway uh, and uh, potentially a lower axle weight rating. So look very carefully at that. This trailer is clearly a single axle trailer and uh, that axle is rated to 3000 pounds. Now that's total weight. The trailer itself uh, minus the back deck, which I took off, which is that sort of that ramp that people drive their lawn mowers and ATVs and things up to get on this trailer. Uh, that's gone. But minus that ramp, which weighs about a hundred pounds or so, this trailer probably weighs in at around seven or 800 pounds. So that leaves you about 2,300 pounds of capacity that you can build on top of this. Now you're probably not going to need all that capacity, but it's good to have, and you definitely don't want to max out uh, the rating on a trailer or an axle um, 
because that is just not a good idea. This trailer comes with real nice um, steel wheel wells. It's got these flares, which I like. Don't ask me why I like them. They don't really serve much of a purpose, but I like them. Um, this is also, you know, very sturdy right here, right? So it's not like, you know, I could sit on that and that's not going to bend. So this, this is great. It's also got this outcropping, which I like, which is another incredibly um, sturdy welded uh, part that could potentially, you know, have a little bit of load uh, bearing down on it. When we get towards the back here, these are the attachments or rather the uh, clasps that hold that gate in place when it's in the, in the, the vertical upright position. Uh, gate is gone. Gate used to be attached to that and to that over there. And there's another one of those claspy things. But um, anyway, so the point is uh, the back gate is gone. doesn't matter. I could sort of cut this off. I may or may not do that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I might want to just cut, cut it right there and cut it right there. This is going to be really hard to get off of there because um, it's, it's all welded. Um, let's see what else. Since it's of a certain width, uh, it has this uh, middle uh, light indicator that uh, that's sort of a highway norm indicator that uh, indicates that the trailer is, I think it's more than more than six feet wide. Don't quote me on that. Again, pressure treated to come around this way. Uh, very similar over here, shockingly. License plate mounts right here. Another tire. So, okay, so let's get to the, uh, the front end here. Trailers will all come with one of these things where you can um, crank the, uh, the trailer up or down so as to uh, raise the hitching point to, to where you need to uh, connect it on your vehicle, tow vehicle. This is a, uh, a two inch receiver. So you need a two inch ball to, um, uh, to tow this. Comes with these chain connectors. It's all very standard. These, these connect to the back of your tow vehicle again. And what you'll do is uh, you'll hook both of these chains up. Um, you know, give them a little bit of a, a twist if they're too loose, because you don't want them dragging on the ground. Uh, it'll throw sparks. And if you happen to live in California, that's probably all it takes to start a forest fire these days. So don't do that. Don't be that guy. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the front end. Oh, wait, there's one more piece. So all of the, this trailer does not have brakes. It is a, um, yeah, it does not have brakes. And, um, it does come with this connector though, which powers the lighting on here. So this will do your tail lights. It'll do those, those running lights that I pointed out on the corners here. And, um, you know, obviously for, for turn signals and all that good stuff as well. So that's what you also need to be able to hook into the back of your car or truck, because otherwise your trailer will be without brake lights, which is not what you want. Um, they usually come with these stickers that list all kinds of information. It'll tell you what kinds of tires and uh, how much tire pressure when it was manufactured. It'll give you the rating on the axle um, and all that good stuff. And that's pretty much it. So this is always a starting point for me on these gypsy wagon builds. And as we go along here into the sort of the next section of this, the first thing that I do on these is close up all these open areas. So I go once around. It happens to be a two by 12 piece. Let's see if I have a piece of that lying around. So this uh, pressure treated, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see here. So I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Yeah, almost. What you want is you want this to, to line up with the top here. So basically you get a nice flush uh, surface right there. 
And the, what that does is it closes in the bottom. Now I typically paint the, these pieces black, but who knows, maybe I'll go crazy this time and just stain some wood and, uh, and do it that way for once because I don't like to build the same thing twice. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's step number two. And that will be videoed and documented next. But I wanted to give you a view of the trailer and uh, it's basically all there is to it.